everybody and welcome to Terry Talks. I am your host, Terry McKnight. I am looking for new authors. I am looking for new psalmists. You may have a new song out. You may have a new hit. You want to sit down and talk about it or you may want to shoot a commercial and have your commercial run through Terry Talks. If that is you, guess what? Contact your girl, 504-343-8896 or hit me up on my email, millionaireblonde1 at gmail.com. Get booked with Terry Talks. your host, Terry McKnight. I am so excited to be back with you guys again. This is a great, great night. I have an awesome person with me today. Uh, she is a 10-year veteran for the restaurant business. Um, she is the connoisseur for coffee. She is the queen of the scene for coffee. She's absolutely amazing. I am so excited to have this young lady on the show. I know y'all waiting and the one and only anticipated the royal bean herself, Gretna's in the house. I welcome to you all. I give to you the one and only, the Miss April UG. Welcome to Terry Talks. How are you doing, April? I'm I'm wonderful. Thank you for that grand introduction. <laughs> like I feel the energy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, thank you. I'm I'm doing amazing. I'm so excited to be here um, to to let the world know about uh, myself and the Royal Bean. But I'm also um, glad to be here to support you. So. Awesome. I'm so excited to have you on the show. You know, we're going to just dive straight into this. You know, what in the world got you into coffee? I mean, what stemmed this excitement for coffee? Like, where did this come from? You know what? I, I do get that question a lot um, because usually when I tell people, oh, I'm the coffee queen of New Orleans or I'm Queen Royal Bean or, you know, I have my own um, specialty coffee company. You know, it doesn't really look like me. It doesn't really look African-American. It doesn't really look female. Um, so people are usually shocked. But it goes all the way back to sharing moments at the, the dinner table with my grandmother. She used to wake us up early in the morning, give us a cup of, of Folgers, um, allow us to have the bunny bread. We used to dip it in there and eat the soggy bread with the coffee. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Um, or or is it you? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So it started, my love for coffee started at an early age, but of course I was a college student. I drank a lot of PJs, a lot of Starbucks um, during college. So I, I love coffee um, in general. Um, but as I began, began in the restaurant industry, um, I always kind of had an entrepreneur spirit about me. And when I actually had the incident and accident on my job, I was assaulted. I decided to leave um, my job as a district manager in the restaurant industry. And I decided to pursue my love for coffee full time. Um, I knew I wanted to open a restaurant, um, but I didn't have the finances for that. But I knew I didn't want to delay my dream and I had to start somewhere. So I was like, you know what? Like, let me start researching the industry as a whole. Um, and what I found was that um, coffee, again, like I said, just didn't look like me. Um, there was not a lot of representation um, for African-American women and indigenous people and people of color. So that I, I knew that God had given me that avenue and coffee would be my platform because who, you know, most people love coffee. Um, and I understood that coffee, would give me a platform where I would be able to break barriers and where I would be able to, um, you know, cross over um, obstacles when it comes to communication with different ethnicity groups um, and just to empower my people and let them know that there's a space for them in coffee. So that is it in a nutshell. Okay. You know what? I'm looking at this name, Royal Bean. You know, I, I like the thing that you said about, you know, God in, in imparted that into you. You know, one thing about it, he'll give you a vision. And if he give you a vision, that vision will manifest. But where did that name come from, Royal Bean? I mean, it just sounds so classy. It, it is. Um, there's a couple of reasons why I um, named the company The Royal Bean. Um, and two, two main reasons. One is because if you've ever tried The Royal Bean, then you understand that 
it is not your average cup of coffee, right? It is high in quality coffee and you can taste the royal bean difference. And I wanted to bring that um, into the neighborhood um, as I did my research um, of coffee and the coffee industry as a whole, I was like, okay, well, why don't I see certain type of coffee shops in certain neighborhoods? Why do I not see certain type of experiences or coffee experiences, high end quality coffee experiences, um, you know, in, in certain neighborhoods? So I said, you know what? I said, everybody deserves that grand coffee high end experience. Everybody, no matter where you're from, no matter what you look like, everybody deserves that place and that 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 royal treatment. You know, I say think like royalty, drink like royalty. I understood that, you know, our people had to change how we thought about coffee. And we also had to be given the opportunity to have access to high end coffee um, for us to really change our minds about coffee. And then we can have a better, um, a more high quality coffee experience. And we can drink like royalty no matter where we were from or what we look like. And you know what? I am super excited. Girl, I was checking out you in essence. You know, that was like huge. I mean, that's like big. So I was I was reading that article about you in Essence Magazine, and it said that you were woman owned, you're black owned, and they were telling people, hey, when y'all come to Essence, be sure to stop at the Royal Bean and get you some of that great coffee. You know, uh, how was that? What was that like? Knowing that you were featured you know in Essence Magazine. Quite frankly, um, when I got the call, I was like shocked. Let me tell you, I actually missed the call twice. Okay. What? I missed the yes, I missed the call twice. And um, one of my friends called me and she was like, hey, somebody's trying to get in touch with you. They can't get in touch with you. So then I go back and I check my voice messages, messages and it's a reporter from Essence. And so I was able to give her a call back and she told me that she had heard about my brand. Um, they were doing um, a an article in Essence um, for people to know when they come in town, like where should they go and get the best coffee? Where should they go in New Orleans and get the best coffee experience? And so just to be just to be recognized, um, especially being one of the newer um, brands um, in the city and also in the coffee industry, it was just an honor um, that people had recognized my efforts, especially so early on. Um, and they, they bought into the brand, they bought into the mission. And it, it was just, it was humbling. It, it really, it was just humbling. I, I still can't believe it. Tell me, how long have you been on the scenes and you already in essence? Well, when that article was published, I had probably been on the scene maybe about six to eight months. Um, it, it's been about, it's been about two years. Um, since I launched the Royal Bean. It's been about almost a year, a year in April um, when I opened the Royal Bean Coffee Corner. Um, and of course, I officially launched my business to the public um, in January of last year. So, yeah. Now look, we got, we gotta, we gotta dive on into this because I'm just like, I can't wait to talk about this. So I had the opportunity, of course, to step on into the Royal Bean. I'm telling you, I think that the Royal Bean is the coziest little corner I've ever seen. But the thing that really gets me, girl, tell us about that King Cake coffee. It is amazing to me. But tell me, okay. I mean, where did that come from? So, okay, so when, listen, I dreamed big. I dreamed about a lot before I actually put my my uh, business and my ideas into motion. And so I knew that I wanted to be known as, um, you know, the coffee company of New Orleans, not just a coffee company in, in, in Gretna, Louisiana, right? So I always wanted to kind of make sure that I kept that New Orleans touch yeah. right on the road. And I said, if I was to ever have, if, if this really goes through and I could get the opportunity, I'm going to have a king cake coffee creamer or a king cake, I'm going to have a king cake something, right? So my king cake uh, coffee idea actually stemmed a year ago. Now, sometimes we have goals, things we have to want to do and we want to achieve. And um, I actually couldn't do to some challenges and obstacles at the time. And I was working full time when I started to 
develop my brand as a district manager. So my time was very limited. Um, so I wrote it down and I made a few mark pieces of marketing material and I tucked it away. And this year came up and I was like, you know what? I'm doing that king cake latte this year. And listen, um, it is an original recipe. Um, it is the perfect king cake taste in a cup. Like I, 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 I mean, whether you have- I have to hot totally, hot. totally agree with you on that. I'm telling you, it's breathtaking. Yes. It's, it's all so good. Oh my God. It's sweet. It's not too sweet. It's the right amount of cinnamon. It's completely creamy. It's actually made with my coffee creamers because some, some people don't know, but I also make my own more natural coffee creamers. So it is made with the Royal Bean Coffee Creamer. It's just simply phenomenal. And not to not to forget, but it's pretty too with the oh, it's the purple, cute. the green, and the gold sprinkles on top. And listen, you gotta try this new one I'm working on right now for Valentine's Day. Like Ooh. you guys, yeah, we're gonna do a strawberry cheesecake oh, latte yeah. for yeah. Valentine's Day. So y'all watch out for that. But yeah, and, and you know, I knew that King Cake Latte would give some pe people in New Orleans something to rally around, right? Something to rally around, something that they're familiar with, you know, just another way to just build community and build camaraderie and give people a taste of royalty. Because listen, you can't go anywhere else and get a King Cake Latte that tastes like that. I can promise you that. <laughs> now, what when we come to the, the Royal Bean, what else do you offer there? I know you had some coffee scrubs, is it? Yeah, um, the Royal Bean, we actually have our own coffee body um, sugar scrub, which is phenomenal. It cleanses your skin, it rejuvenates your skin, it moisturizes your skin, it is organic. The thing I love about it the most is that it lathers like soap, so it's, it's, it's very unique. Um, it smells amazing, it smells like a warm cup of a vanilla latte, um, and it, it exfoliates really well. So I do offer the body scrub. I also offer whole beans. Um, I offer grinded beans. I also offer a uh, cold brew. Um, our signature cold brew is just phenomenal. It's bold, it's smooth. And again, you can taste the royal bean difference. Um, and then we're also, again, coming out with some more specialty cocktails um, for Valentine's Day. But my favorite part of my business, I must say, is the um, coffee catering side of my business. I. I truly enjoy coffee catering more than I enjoy anything because it allows me to network. It allows me to give back. Right. Um, it allows me to, you know, put that royal bean in the community, right? Which is, again, like I told you, my mission from the very beginning. And we've made so many great connections in the community. And again, that's one of the barriers that that coffee breaks down. It breaks down, you know, those barriers in the community. You, you'll you talk to a stranger over a cup of coffee. You'll, you'll find something in common. You know, there's right. no, you know, it's just a cup of coffee. It's just so powerful. And, and I just kind of want to zone into that because listen, we drink a lot of coffee. We consume um, a lot of coffee. Really so let's do. talk about put some purpose behind it, you know? Yes. Um, you know, I was just sitting here and I'm listening at you and I'm thinking like, this is so phenomenal. It really is. You know, the area that you're in is great. You know, the drinks that you offer are phenomenal as well. You know, and you as a person, as a whole, you know, you kind of, you, you're well put together, you know, and I, I encourage people to network, you know, because this is how we met at a networking event, you know, so Absolutely. About, what, 12, maybe 12 of us, you know, that got together and we were brainstorming about making our businesses better. We were exchanging information, you know, yeah. and um, I think that's a great asset to any and every business, being able to, you know, network with others and uh, take each other to a new level. That's one of the reasons that Terry Talks is alive right now, because I want to bring people like you and other business owners on a platform where they can express their businesses, their thoughts, what's going on with you, so that other people can be able to make their way to Gretna as I did and to have some of that absolutely amazing coffee. I mean, that coffee is like a showstopper. I know people <laughs> always gonna say, Terry, you always saying something sexy, but baby, that king cake latte is sexy, okay? <laughs> It's sweet, it's good, it's yummy, it's delicious. You know, I mean, to sum it up, 
what's something, uh, a couple of things that you would give to some of the entrepreneurs that are watching the show? You know, I know we always say, don't give up, don't quit, don't stop, pursue your dreams. But what is something that, a nugget that you would want to give entrepreneurs, you know, being that you're an entrepreneur yourself? What's something that you would Absolutely. Um, you know, I think the first thing that I would say is celebrate small victories. Here's why, here's why I'm saying that because we have goals and we have dreams and we anticipate things happening and the timing that we want them to happen. Um, but in entrepreneurship, let me just tell you, it does not always happen as you planned. Okay, it does not always happen as planned, but you can still celebrate small victories, even if you feel like there's a delay, even if you feel like there's a setback. If you sent that email today and you were supposed to, good for you, right? If you made it on that Zoom call, right, you might not have been able to fully develop that idea, but you made it to the Zoom call despite being a single mom, despite working a full-time job, you know, just make sure you're celebrating. You get your logo done, right? That's all you did that week and you got your logo done. Celebrate yes. that logo. Celebrate that. Celebrate. Just celebrate the small victories because it's those small victories that are going to get you, that are going to keep you going because you don't always get the big wins when you want the big wins. But it's not an excuse or it, you know, you always have to keep that in your for, in, in the forefront of your mind so that you don't right. quit. Because there are going to be days where you want to, where you're going to want to quit and you have to find something to go back to. You have to find something to celebrate, no matter how small it is. So celebrate small victories and don't be too hard on yourself. Build this thing one day at a time and don't give up. You know, this has been absolutely wonderful. I am so excited to have had you on this show. The Royal Bean, you guys, I this is the Royal Bean. She's the queen of the scene. She is the coffee entrepreneur. She's the coffee connoisseur. If you are on the West Bank, you are in a great... So April, where can we find you on your social media outlets? Where can we locate the Royal Bean? Yes, so you can find us at the Royal Bean Coffee Corner, which is at 512 West Bank Expressway, Gretna, Louisiana, 70053. It is located inside of Mustache Barbershop. You can also visit our website, www.theroyalbean.com. You can find us on social media. Our Instagram is the Royal Bean 504 and our Facebook is the Royal Bean Nola. All right. Thank you so much, Miss April. It has been a pleasure having you on the show. Um, I am your host, Terry McKnight. Thank you all for tuning in to Terry Talks. All right. See ya.
quality scented candles that will truly inspire and illuminate your senses with compelling aromas. Purchase your candle today or for a special loved one or if you're interested in hosting a fundraiser for your church, school, or business, contact us today. And be sure to follow us on Facebook Live at Unique Wax.